Okay, we're ready for the starting lineups tonight for, for Gravit. Number 33, Kaylee Davis. Number 12, Ella Duke. Number four, Maddie Foster. Sydney Hicks is number 44. She starts in Sam Pruitt. For the Lady Tigers, the Harden twins, Maddie and Taylor, Abby Smith, Lacey Beeks, and Callie Robinson. Well, if this girls game's anything like the guys game, <laughs> we're in for a barn burner. It was so interesting that last game, Lance, that the boys being down as big as they were to be able to rally back and make a game out of it. Yeah, I think we outscored them 30 to 30 to 16 that, that last quarter. that last quarter. Well, the girls' game getting underway. The Lady Lions control the tip, and Kaylee Davis got the ball now. Ella Duke shot on the way, no good, off the mark. Sam Pruitt misses. Davis tried to make a save, unable to do it, and the Lady Tigers will take over. Abby Smith back on the court for the Lady Tigers and played her first game back and now her first game starting since her head injury when she had a concussion, so she's back. Yeah, she and Callie out of those dresses. Taylor Hart missed the three and Shot on the way that time by Duke, no good, and Tigers will. Take over. Just underway here in the girls game, the colors day, so the girls are playing second, and the guys play first tonight. Good ball movement by the Tigers. And they're being patient, looking for a good shot. There's Maddie Harden for three. There it is. Bottom. Hey, hey. 6.38 to go. We're in the first basket comes. And it's three to zero. Quick ball movement by the, by the Gravit ladies as well. They're moving that ball around. Foul called on Abby Smith, first foul of the night. First team foul of the night as well. Kylie Davis at the line, first one up and no good. No good from Davis and so Lady Lions still looking for their first point. Davis second shot on the way, this one's gonna fall for her, and it's three to one Lady Tigers. Three one Lady Tigers. 6-10 to go here in the first quarter, just underway. If you joined us late, we had a barn burner of the boys game, 71-66. Uh, the Lions defeated the Tigers, but it was a battle to the end. There's Beek. She gets it inside, goes up. She's going to be fouled. Two shots. Fouls on number 22, Sam Pruitt, her first foul, team first foul. That one's good by Lacey Beeks. 4-1, Lady Tigers lead. Lady Tigers come into the game third in the conference. I don't know that I've said that much over the last uh, five or six years, saying the Lady Tigers were third in the conference. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> it's and not now, what we're normally saying. We're normally saying number one in the conference. Yeah. Well, there's a turnover, fight for the ball. And now I'll turn over to the Lady Tigers. And smart move, there is, that's off the mark. Was Maddie Harton. She had Callie Robinson for a second, but by the time she could get control to throw it, she knew it would be a bad pass. That was right. smart for her to pull up and not and not uh, throw the ball away. Ball goes inside, and there's Robinson battling, and Abby Smith comes up with the loose ball. Lady uh, Lady Tigers up five to one. They're de they're battling, that's for sure. There's Abby Smith. She gives it up. Maddie Harton for three. Bottom. Uh, hey, that's her spot. 
It's her second three, and it's eight to one, Lady Tiger. Now gives it up. There's Pruitt, Pruitt on the way, no good. Rebound goes to Robinson. Now Abby gets it down quickly to Beeks. Beeks, pull up, jumper by the eight footer, no good. Rebound goes to number 44, Sydney Hicks. Time out, grab it, let's take it with them. A 444 to go here in the first. Lady Tigers eight, Lady Lions one. PG Telco, built on community, focused on progress. But what does that mean to you? It means that you get to keep up with all your sporting events associated with Prairie Grove Athletics on a website furnished and maintained by PG Telco. It means that the folks at PG Telco have an interest in you, your kids. Back to the action. Davis with the ball. She's guarded by... Harton, Davis, Duke, and Ooh, there's, there's Pruitt a, on the balls on the ground. It's gonna be jump ball. Gonna call jump ball. It's gonna go to the Tigers. Lady Tigers, get it. Four twenty to go here in the first quarter. Lady Tigers up eight to one. End of the game is Taylor Doss. There's Harton for three. Bottom, and the Harton twins are on fire tonight. 11 to one. Maddie with two threes. Taylor with one. Beeks with two free throws. That's our scoring tonight. There is Davis. She's going to throw a three up. No good. Rebound. Nice rebound that time by Foster. Davis gives it up to Pruitt. Pruitt drives and on the ground. Going to get two shots. I believe it's going to be on Taylor Hard. Yeah. I mean, uh, Taylor Doss. Taylor Doss. Doss with the foul. No good from Pruitt on the free throw. So one of three from the line. One of three from the line. Other grab it, Lady Lions. Second one on the way, and it falls through, 11 to two. So both of their points so far coming from the line. Now they're applying a little pressure. They get it to Doss. Now Doss gets it to, and it's over the line. And a nice job, and then lost. Oh. Nice defense that time that by the Lady Lions, but then they threw it away, and fortunate for us, we got the ball back. Yeah, that was a, a, a great steal right there, but then when she tried to throw it in, missed, missed the pass and ball out on Granite. If you're watching, go to pgtigersonline.com, the comments page. There's a nice move inside. Callie Robinson puts it up and in. Good defense by the Lady, Lion, uh, Lady Tigers. Oh, yeah. They're going to get beaks for push. Yeah, she reached over trying to get that ball and got a little aggressive there. There's Davis. They trap Davis. And they're going to call Abby Smith this time. With her hand straight up in the air with a hold. I'll bring <laughs> Maddie Harton in for Abby Smith. So Smith will go to the bench. That's her second foul. Team's fourth. 3.04 to go, Lady Tigers up 13 to two. There's Pruitt. Nice job by Beeks to keep her from driving to the hoop. Ball inside and Beeks makes the steal. Gets it ahead to Doss, Doss. Jump ball, it's gonna go to the Lady Lions. 
Nice defense that time by the Gravit team. And Beeks gets the steal. There we go. Whoa, and they're going to get Doss for the walk. She pulled that foot up just as she was releasing. 2.35 to go. Lady Tigers up 13 to 2. Macy Colton coming in for Doss. Colton's first action tonight. Colton's usually a starter. Colton was hot the other night, too, on those three pointers. Absolutely. Davis driving. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound goes to Robinson. She gets it to Colchin quickly. And down the floor to Maddie Harton. Harton's going to be fouled by Davis. 2.19 to go. Lady Tigers up 13-2. to two. That's only the second team foul for the Gravit Lady Lions. Davis with the foul. That's her first. Harden makes the first one, 14 to two. Harden with seven points, two three-pointers, and that free throw and a chance to have eight here. Number 21, Jay Chalk in the game for the Lady Lions. That one rolls in for Harden and it's 15 to two, Lady Tigers up. Pruitt gets it over to the timeline. Pruitt, boy, lucky, lucky, lucky we didn't get a foul yeah, there, but I think both of them fouled her. I thought Pruitt was going to shoot a three from there. She kind of took a step like she was, and then she went on and drove on in. There's Davis, and stolen, and the ball goes loose, and Harton gets it. She gets it to Colchin. Colchin drives. She's going to be fouled. She's fouled by Ella Duke. It's a cool name, Ella Duke. Ella Duke. Duke with the foul, her first, team third. 157 to go here in the first. Tigers up, Lady Tigers up 15 to two. Make it 16 to two as Colton makes the free throw. Into the game comes Ashley Cox. You know, I didn't rest, recognize Ashley uh, today when she was walking in that dress. <laughs> just, the only time I've seen her is like, is playing ball. Second one on the way and it's also good and it's 17 to two. Emily Sapp into the game for the first time for the Tigers. Sapp. Sapp's the only junior on the team. Pruitt gets it over to Davis. Took a little extra step there. Coming in, number 44, Sydney Hicks, back into the game. She started the game. There's in Sapp. She gives it. Sapp gives it back to Harton. Sapp looking inside. Oh. Macy Colton going baseline. Well, she, she likes. She loves, loves that it. baseline. The thing that makes her dangerous, Lance, is she can hit that outside shot. Yep. And so when you come out on her, she can get that baseline, she'll take it. They called her for going out. I thought they were going to call her for being pushed out, but they called her for being out. Nice ball movement. And for yeah. the, and their first field goal comes at 112 to go in the first quarter. There are the baskets that were two free throws. So Lady Tigers up 17 to four with a minute to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, they did a good job of doing that press break right there and getting that ball down. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. Robinson, Beeks, Doss all come back in. Sapp, Colchin, and Cox go out. And they get it in to Maddie Harton. There's Beeks. Top of the key looks are going to set it up. Ooh, Lacey wanted that. 
Harton drives all the way up and in. <laughs> hey! Taylor Harton drives, it's 19 to four. Lady Tigers have really been in control in this game. Surprised we didn't get a foul for against us that time. And now Harton with the ball with 30 seconds to go. She's driving, pulls, drives, and the foul is gonna be on Davis. That's gonna be her second and the team fourth. Her second and the team fourth. It's 27.5 to go here in the first. Tigers up 19 to four. I tell you, Taylor's seeing those holes. She's driving in, getting in there, and doing those easy layups. Taylor's only 5'5", five, five, and that's the first free throw miss tonight for the tight Lady Tigers. She's only 5'5", five, five, but she gets, she makes her way inside, not afraid to shoot the inside ball. That's right. I'm always amazed when she gets in there, all of a sudden it's like, how did she get in there? But I guess it's because maybe she is 5'5", five, five, that she can drive in the middle. A very unusual two free throw miss by Taylor Harton. It's 19 to four with 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Lady Tigers should not fall on uh, rest on their laurels though. The other night they stormed out the 17 point lead against Berryville and that game went there's Beeks with the steal. On the floor it's going to be their fifth team foul. And that's some great trapping defense up here as soon as they get it across court. As soon as they pick up the dribble, they've got her trapped, and that was great, and that caused that turnover. That's Pruitt's second foul, so she has two, as does Davis, 6.8. Beeks finding her way. She's going to be fouled, and that time it's going to be on number 44, Sydney Hicks. That's the 16 foul. Her first. Lance, you know that they have picked up three team fouls in the last 20 seconds. Right. Second one on the way, it's good, 20 to four. So those quick fouls like that, all of a sudden the Lady Tigers will be in the bonus in the second quarter. Second one on the way, it's good, 21 to four, 17 point lead. Reminds me a little bit of the Berryville game, and that game ended up going to the wire, Lance. Yes, it did, yes it did. Lady Tigers came out firing hot and quick. Davis just misses a three. Well, after one quarter of play, the score, the Lady Tigers, 21. The grab at Lady Lions four. Back after this. I wonder if Buck Lewis had any idea as to what he was starting when he sold his first Ford back in 1946. He was on the square in Fayetteville. Then Tom and Herb Lewis made the move to the current location on North College back in 1969. But through all those years, a Lewis has always been at the helm, and that tradition continues today. It's that kind of family value and heritage that makes Lewis Automotive the place to buy your next vehicle. Be it a Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, or Jeep, new or used, you can still find a Lewis standing behind every single deal. Award-winning service. Six locations on over a thousand vehicles it's amazing a lot has changed but the lewis heritage and tradition continues lewis automotive proudly serving northwest arkansas since 1946. well we're back for the second quarter and the uh lady tigers have the possession arrow so they'll have the ball to start the second half yeah, first half, uh, first, oh, first quarter four, was, sorry, second yeah, quarter. first quarter was great for the Tigers. Really came out strong offensively and defensively. Yeah, Maddie Harton from that spot right there. So that's time she's off the mark. She hit two threes and a couple of free throws with eight points. She missed that one that time. 21-4, and the, there's a three-pointer on the way, and it's good. Hey. Jay Chalk with the three-pointer and the score now 21-7. Nice job by Jay Chalk. Yeah, that was a great, a great put up right there. Real quick, real easy. <laughs> I think Coach called that one. He sure did. <laughs> Give him credit. Give him credit. He said it at the right time, just about the time he's about to make up his mind. <laughs> Davis battling, trying to get her a good shot off. Turn around, shot on the way, no good. Missed by Hicks. Beeks quickly down with the rebound. Now here comes Lacey. Lacey drives all the way, coast to coast, no good. Rebound, no foul. Hicks comes down with the rebound. Looked like Maddie Foster got a little hand on that, that time. Jumper by Davis, no good. Beeks with another rebound. There was nobody down there but Beeks to rebound just then. And now, 
Harton thought about the three. Now Taylor Harton with the ball. There's Taylor Doss. We got three sophomores, two seniors on the floor right now. Beeks looking. Taylor Harton's over here wide open for a three. Just a little too late there. Doss. I'll tell you, Gravitt's playing tight, tight. And Defense Beeks going to get a chance for a three, but it'll be the old-fashioned way. Yep. Foul's going to be on chalk. Coach Frowl's asking for a timeout. He's going to get it. And let's take the timeout with them with 6.16 to go here in the first half. Lady Tigers up 23-7. Everett Chevrolet is home of the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size truck on the road today, the Chevy Silverado. And the 2014 Silverado has been totally redesigned, and it's better than ever before. And right now, the selection of Silverados at Everett Chevrolet has never been better. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, extended cab, crew cabs, and every color you can imagine with options to die for. So make the short drive to Everett Chevrolet just off of I-540 at Elm Springs Road. Family-owned, customer-friendly, Everett Chevrolet. Beaks at the line for the chance for to complete a three-point play. 23-7, Lady Tigers up. She earned that old-fashioned three-point. She did. Boy, the Lady Tigers are applying the pressure. Yep, there's They're that. They're going to get Doss for the foul. She did. She got her by the arm there. She did. There's that trap right up the top as soon as they cross that half-court line. That's Doss's second, team fifth. Lady Tigers up 24-7. Our East Lag students and I helping out. Ethan and Samantha, Casey, Kyle, and Horstein. That's going to go off the leg of Davis. Oh, yep. I guess they got, uh, they're going to say that went to grab it. Gets into Hicks. Chalk with the ball. Chalk hit the three pointer a while ago. Yes, she did. She just pulled up and drained it. Davis seems to ha be the most active of the grab it Lady Lions. Boy, Dawson's. Doss forces that, I mean, uh, Harton forced the backcourt, and the Lady Tigers with a chance to go up 19. 5.38 to go in the first half. Maddie Harton in the corner. Doss, Harton, Harton, Beeks, and Robinson in the game. Taylor Harton, she gets to Beeks. Beeks drives up, lays up, no good. Rebound goes to Maddie Foster, and she gets it to Davis. Chalk, can't leave Chalk open. She's no. knocked down a three. Drive by Pruitt, up and good. Nice drive that time by Sam Pruitt, 24 to nine. They might try a little bit of that drive in and pop it out to, uh, to, to Chalk. Coach Frow calls timeout. Oh, did he call timeout? Was there a foul? What happened? He didn't call timeout. It was, it was a foul. So the foul, so Beeks is going to go to the line. Shooting a one and one. Coach Frow had a lot of confidence in that. He held his players over there and during the shot. He did. 25 to nine. Lady Tigers chance to go back up 17. That foul was on Kaylee Davis. That Davis is third. Six free throws for Beeks. Six for six. Six for six. And I believe that was Davis's third foul. And she's been kind of the ball handler, kind of the quarterback, if you will, of the floor. She's now off the court. There's Chalk. And Beeks makes the steal. Beeks driving with the going to be a foul. They're going to call it on the floor. 
nine team fouls. Number 12, Ella Duke. Ella Duke with the foul. Beak, six Lacey, and six. Back blind. at the line again tonight. This one rattles in and out and misses our first free throw. As soon as we say someone's six for six, we, we jinx them. Yeah, Gretchen, she's doing it over here. She's jinxing and telling us those stats. <laughs> There he is, there's Chalk. She's gonna launch another three. This one no good, rebound's gonna go to Robinson. 26 to nine, Lady Tigers up. Pretty much been controlled this whole game so far. They were up 17 to end the first quarter, up 17 here halfway through the second quarter. There's Taylor Harton for three, bottom! Hey, hey! 29 to nine and it's a 20 point lead. And now Harton, Maddie Harton got a foul. That was kind of an ill-advised foul right there. Now trying to get that trap again. and Just uh, didn't get there quick enough. Didn't get qu quick enough, that's exactly right. It works if you get there. If you get there, you can trap them, that's an easy trap. They're gonna call Doss for a hold. That's gonna be Doss's third foul. It'll be a one and one opportunity now for the Gravit Lady Lions. Coming into the game is Macy Colchin. Sam Pruitt at the line, 29-9, off the back of the rim, no good, so the one-on-one -on -one opportunity missed. Big rebound now, there, Lacey Beeks. Yeah, Beeks gets the ball down so quickly. Macy trying to go baseline. Nice defense that time by the Lady Lions. There's Maddie Harden with the ball at the top of the key. Three-pointer on the way, Colchin in and out, no good. Rebound gonna go to the Lady Lions. 3.25 to go, 29 to nine. Nice job that time by the Lady Lions. Cutting off that baseline. They used the court to their advantage that time. Let her go down there and then cut her off. She didn't have a shot at the basket from that angle and had really no other choice but kind of stopped and knocked it out of bounds. Ball gets into Ella Duke. She's got it covered by Taylor Hart. Robinson backs off. Hicks, no good. Rebound's going to go to Ella Duke. Then back out to Pruitt. Pruitt with a three. No good. This time Beeks gets the rebound and she gets it over the court quick. And there it goes, oh, oh, just off the hands or the tip of the fingers there of Matty Harton. Got overexcited right there. Had a, a wide open run there. 29-9, 247 to go, timeout. By Coach Will Pittman. Let's take a timeout with them. 247, the Tigers up, 29-9. Clorox, just hearing the name and you automatically think of the word clean. And Clorox is a lot more than just bleach. The Clorox family of products has something for the home, the business, professional grade, and more. No matter what the environment, Clorox has the product you need to meet your unique challenges. From the bathroom and the kitchen with Pine Saw and 409 to the laundry room with the standard Clorox bleach. And even if you're on the go with the Clorox wipes, you know the name stands for clean. Dirt and germs don't stand a chance as long as you're equipped with the family of Clorox products. Clorox. Proud sponsors of Tiger Athletics and Activities. Now Colchin with the steal, nice defense by the Lady Tigers, and then, oh, they're gonna get Chalk with the foul. Yeah, I tell you, Sam Pruitt was in trouble um, right there at the half court, half court line, then she tripped and fell down.
Colton's first one's up and in, and second one the same. 31-29, 22-point lead now. 31-9. What did I say, 21? You yeah, said 30, 29. 31-9, a 22-point lead for the Lady Tigers. They've been in control from the start. That was a little push-off. They're going to get oh, they are. Maddie Hart with the foul. I believe that's her second foul. Her second, the team's eighth, and this will be a one and one for Pruitt. Sam Pruitt at line. She's a 5'9 senior. She's the only senior that started tonight, and the ball rolls in for Pruitt. They started three juniors and a sophomore. Hicks, the number 44, she's a 5'11 sophomore, and now that one goes in for Pruitt, and it's back to a 20 point lead. 31-11. Ashley Cox back in the game for the Lady Tigers. And now Colton gets it over quickly and waits for Beeks, and Beeks is in. Taylor Harton, Macy Colton, Callie Robinson, Lacey Beeks, and Ashley Cox are on the floor for the Lady Tigers. Beeks thought about the long three, pulls up by an eight-footer, no good, rebound. Oh, I thought Ashley Cox was in there for the rebound. Rebound ends up in Chalk's hand, and she gets it to Pruitt. Davis has had the sit, who's kind of held that ball most of the first quarter. She ended up with three fouls, and she's been on the bench for most of this quarter. There is Chalk, knocked away by Beeks. 138 to go here in the first half. Lady Tigers in control, 31 to 11. There's Hicks, and now Pruitt with the ball again. Pruitt, turnaround jumper off the Ooh. board. Nice shot that nice time. Nice shot. Nice quick turnaround jumper. Now. Man, Maddie Hart, or uh, Taylor Hart just split those defenders and gets it to Robinson, and she's easy layup, 33-13. Yeah, she, Boy, she had, just split them. She split three of them. She did, and, and she had two choices because Ashley Cox on the other side just wide open. So great job there, handing that ball off. Well, when you beat three defenders yourself, that means there's only two left on the court. Nice That's job, right. and Pruitt's kind of come to life, 33-15. Now here comes Colchin. Pull up, jumper by Colchin, good, Macy Colchin. 35-15, it's a quick basket for both teams. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Lady Tigers up 35-15. They've had as much as a 22-point lead, sitting at 20 right now, and she just kind of fell. Yeah, that's Pruitt just kind of failed that time. Mm. It was almost like she was anticipating some contact and didn't hit it. You know? Right, right, that's the second time she's fallen tonight. She fell over there on the other side, half court. Uh, looks, looks like they're going to go for her coach Froud yell across one shot. So with 30 seconds, the Lady Tigers will just hold it. Pruitt's going to come out and try to force the action on beat. Down to 20 seconds. Maddie or Taylor Hart for three, no good, and it's going to go over the backboard. 5.2 seconds. Nice job that time by Gravit to kind of force the action. We were going to kind of sit out there and yep. wait, and they forced it. And really going to actually probably get the last shot off for them. Yeah, they did a good job on defense that time. Don't foul, girls. No good. The halftime score, the Lady Tigers 35, the Lady Lions 15. It's halftime. We'll be back for the second half after a few messages.
Love God, love others, and serve others. The simple motto of Prairie Grove Christian Church. Whether it's supporting missionaries in Japan or on the Ivory Coast of Africa or doing mission work in Guatemala or building homes in Mississippi or Alabama or the fun for the entire family of Upward Basketball, you'll find the members seeking to show our love for God through our love for our neighbors. If you're looking for a church home, we invite you to experience PGCC firsthand. We have convenient service times with services on Sunday at 9 and 1030. And trust us, we have plenty of activities for the kids. Prairie Grove Christian Church, serving Western Washington County and beyond. Love God, love others, and serve others. Prairie Grove Christian Church. You just bought that first home or maybe the first new car and you want it properly covered. Think Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence. Or maybe you just welcome into the world that little gift of a child. You want to make sure that their future is secure. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Let's face it, you want someone local, someone that you know, someone that can be by your side when you need them to be there. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Home, life, auto, RV, boat, motorcycle insurance. Think Mark Spence, your local shelter insurance agent. Call 846-2999. That's 846-2999. Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence proudly support Tiger Athletics and activities. Take a stroll down memory lane as you stride into Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, where things are done the old-fashioned way. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and even late night, you'll find only the best. Breakfast to die for. A lunch already. And dinner platters that are sure to keep you coming back for more. And did we mention hand-dipped shakes as well as a great selection of desserts? It all awaits you at Steak and Shake, located just south of the mall. Steak and Shake, life needs flavor. Life can come at you from a lot of different directions, and you need to be prepared with the proper insurance. Let John Galligan of the Galligan Insurance Alliance make sure that you, your loved ones, and your home, and all that's near and dear to you is properly covered. You see, the Galligan Insurance Alliance is an independent insurance agent and allows him the flexibility to shop the very best policy at the very best price, and this gives you the coverage and the peace of mind that you need at the rate that fits your budget. It's the best case scenario when it comes to covering all that is near and dear to you. Check them out on Facebook or drop by the website Galligan Insurance alliance.com and you can always call 479-282-0605 479-282-0605 the galligan insurance alliance our playground is sad and old Whoever gets the most um, boxes for the animals wins. It's important for the community to get involved. We want our community to rally for recess, to improve outdoor play, and to promote a healthy lifestyle. Kids need you to go to your local grocery store, purchase animals yogurt drinks, and send the boxes to any of the Prairie Grove schools. For more information, please go to rallyforrecess.com. Thank you for your continued support for the Prairie Grove School District.
Second half underway, Davis back into the game for the Lady Lions. She sat for most of the second quarter with three fouls. Three point on the way by Pruitt, and it's good. Hey, I tell you, the, the first quarter we were 21, they were four. In the second quarter, we scored 13, they scored 11. And then coming out hot right there. Oh, wide open. Oh, nice block by Hicks. Gretchen, how many points does Pruitt have now in the game? Pruitt has 12. Pruitt with 12 of the 18. <laughs> there she goes with another three. That one's wow. good. Wow. So she's got 15 of the 21. Coach Froud wants a 30 second timeout. In the first half scoring for the Lady Tigers, Beeks with nine, Colton with six, Robinson with four, Taylor Harton with eight, and Maddie Harton with eight. Beeks got six of those from the line. For the great Lady Lions, First half scoring, one for Davis, two for Hicks, nine for Pruitt, three for Chalk. And Pruitt's hit two threes. She's got 15 points now. And now it's, it's stolen. There's Davis, shot on the way, and it rolls in. 35-23. That's 11 quick points. Up, oh, eight quick points. Another and turnover. Another turnover. They've almost scored more here in the third quarter than they did the entire first half. And they're going to be a hand check foul there on Abby Smith. That's three, on, that's score, three on Abby. Halftime score was 34 to 15. 15. They've scored eight points already to our one in this quarter. We haven't scored anything this we, quarter. Oh, we didn't? I, well, how did we end up with 34 points in the first? <laughs> something's not adding right. And another three by Pruitt. Pruitt's got three threes. I guess it was 35-15, right? Now Maybe they scored 35-15. They scored 11 straight. And this is very eerie. And there's a foul on Pruitt. This is very eerie like the Berryville game last, just last yeah. week or last yeah. uh, earlier in the week. We were up by 17 at half, and next thing you know, it was a race, and it's starting off like that tonight. 35-26, Lady Tigers at one time, and no good on the free throw by Robinson. At one time, we were up 22 points, now only up nine. There's a lot of basketball left to be played. Robinson, second shot on the way. This one rolls in. And it's There's your one. I just I re added up the scores, and it is 35. 35 26, or 36 26. She stepped over the line, and the Lady Tigers are going to get the ball back up 10. Been up by as many as 22. We're up 20 at halftime. And shot in there good by Beats. So back up to a 12-point lead. And shot no good. Hicks back up, and Hicks puts it up and in. Sydney Hicks pulls it within 10 points, and now Robinson was open for just a moment there. We need a big three-point right here just to kind of get our momentum going again. Unless Lacey beaks up with a shot and a foul. Foul is on number 44, That's Sydney, Sydney Hicks. Hicks. It's her second foul. Beeks makes the first one, 39-28. Well, this is a game all of a sudden again. I mean, it looked like it would be a blowout. Now a 12-point lead, Lady Tigers. Pruitt has just been on fire here in the third quarter. Hicks pulls up, shot on the way, no good. Rebound goes to Beeks. That was great defense by Callie. Sure was. 
didn't get the foul, made her pull up, take a jumper. <laughs> nice job by Beach. <laughs> now Maddie Harden drives baseline, comes back out. Now Beach takes the three-pointer, ball, in and out. Man, that rolled around. I thought that was bottom two. <laughs> There's Hicks, nice little move by Hicks. Hicks off the backboard up and in, 40-30. Ashley Cox about to check in, here comes Taylor Doss. She gets back out, Maddie, or Taylor Harden for three, bottom, there, there we you go. go. There's your bottom right there, that was great. 43-30. Wow, that was a great little move right there. Yeah, I've, I've been impressed the way Davis has handled the ball for them tonight, but she just she's not made as many points as I thought she might. There's Robinson, gets it back to Beeks. Beeks goes up strong, and a, oh, they're going to call a late foul on number 44, Sydney Hicks. That's going to be the third team foul of the half, of the second half. Third foul on Hicks. Beeks at the line to shoot two, 43-30. Beach makes the first one, 44-30. Ashley Cox checks in for Callie Robinson. Jay Chalk in for Gravit. 44-30, Beeks rolls in and out. Davis pulls up, backboard, no good. Beeks with the rebound. Beeks, shot on the way, it's in. Back up to a 16 point lead, 46-30. That one rolled around too, that's the, this time went in for us. Pruitt with the ball, and Pruitt has been the been the scorer really for the Lady Lions here in the second half. She's hit three threes. Pretty impressed by Davis' ball handling skills. Oh, well, she's been tough, Just she has to, Converted she's many points, but she's been yeah. good. But that, the dribbling point that ball behind that young the back. lady right there, Pruitt, she misses that one and Beeks with the rebound. And Beeks is taking it. Now she feeds it back out. Harden twins exchange passes, and the Lady Tigers with the ball in the front court. <laughs> Coach Fratt over there kind of waving her where to throw the ball that time. There's Harton for three, kind of rushed it. Cox. Cox is going to step out. Cox could have probably done like Troutner did in the first game, went ahead and yeah, knocked, knocked it off of knocked the, it off her leg. A long football pass by Chalk. Foul's going to be on Doss. That's going to be her fourth and Pruitt to go to the line. 46-30, 2.39 to go here in the third. Pruitt makes the first one. Pruitt's done most of the score in the second half. Four by Hicks and two for Davis. Pruitt That'd makes be the second one. 11 points. In the second half, she had, I think she had, how many did she have in the first? In the first, she had nine. So she's got 20 points. Of the 32 that they've scored, Pruitt's got 20, and it's 46-32. I think they needed to play this in the guys' game. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got some good entertainers. Got some good entertainers over there. They've been uh, they've been dancing and going most of the... <laughs> 
most of the evening. Yep. She's, she's moving it over there, I'm telling you. 46-32, two and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Ball thrown away, and it's going to end up in Chalk's hands to get to the Davis. Four turnovers here in the second half for Foul is going to be on Hicks. Good put up by Abby Smith. That's four on Hicks. Abby Smith. I, I don't think Abby scored tonight, and I don't think she scored the other night since she's been back. So this would be her first points back, and it's good. Abby Smith makes the free throw, 47-32. Makes them both, 48-32. 2.15 to go here in the third quarter. Gets it into Pruitt. They got Pruitt trapped over here. Nice job. They just got that over just in time. That one's on the way. Backboard good by hit. Lady Lions have had a good third quarter. One fifty-three to go here in the third. Lady Tigers up by 14. Grab it trying to run that little same trap that we do there in the corner as soon as you cross the half court line. Might have got away with a walk. Oh, look at that. Nice pass, no good. <clears throat> Colton goes back up, no good. Oh man, Beeks. Yeah, Beeks is gonna be over the back with that one. Yeah. I think that's beat second foul, team third. Colts are wide open in there. Minute and a half to go here, 48-34. Davis pull up, jumper on the way, no good. Rebound to Abby Smith. Gets it to Beats. Colton thought about it for a <laughs> second. Here goes Abby Smith. Gets it back to Beeks. Beeks drives, lays it up and in. Lacey, Lacey Beeks, it makes it 50-34. And she found that, that hole in that defense. Took advantage of it. Just a nice, easy layup. She just surgically kind of goes through there. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just, she does that often. There's Pruitt, long three on the way. No good, rebound goes to the Lady Tigers, to Robinson. Now Abby Smith with a little help from Robinson. They get it over the line. 30 seconds to go here in the third. There's Maisie Colchin. Yeah. There's Colchin, easy. Great look. It up and in, 52-34. Great look down below. Down to eight seconds to go here. Davis with the ball, down to five now. Boy, the clock's ticking. Pull up jumper by Davis, short, rebound. Well, Lancey, next to such a great quarter by the Lady Lions. They were down 20 and a half, and they closed it to 10, but they are down 18 again now. And with one quarter to go, the Lady Tigers, 52, Lady Lions, 34, back for the fourth and final quarter. PG Telco, built on community, focused on progress. But what does that mean to you? It means that you get to keep up with all your sporting events associated with Prairie Grove Athletics on a website furnished and maintained by PG Telco. It means that the folks at PG Telco have an interest in you, your kids, your school, and your community. And they're focused on progress. They're committed to bringing you the very latest in technology for your home or your office for telephone, internet, long distance, or direct TV. Think PG Telco, built on community, focused Focused on progress.
We're back for the start of the fourth quarter. There's a quick play by the Tigers. Ball into Cali. Cali shoots it up, makes it, and a foul. Foul is on number 12. Uh, sorry, number 21. Be a foul on Jay Chalk. And Robinson with a chance to complete the three point play, put him back up by 21. And it's no good, so back at 20. Well, back to a 20 point lead, that's where it was at half, and the Lady Lions cut it down to 10 at one point, looked like it was gonna make a game, and now number 23, her, she's seeing action for the first time tonight is Chastity Hubbard. Hey, there's Chalk in there for a great rebound to put up. Chalk puts it back in, 54-36. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna call Pruitt with a foul there. That's Pruitt's fourth. She's been the scorer, and boy, they back into the game is Davis, who's playing with three fouls. Chalk going out. Chalk's played a good game. She's coming off the bench and got five points and made a few important rebounds and good passes. And she did. Taylor Harton for three, bottom, there she is, 57-36. She's made a three in every quarter so far. Foul's gonna be on Abby Smith, that's gonna be the team's fourth foul, I believe that's three on Smith. Four on Abby Smith, so wow. Abby Smith with four and chalk back in, so Hubbard goes out. 7.05 to go in the ball game. Lady Tigers up 21 points. There's Pruitt with the ball. She's going to walk, and the ref calls it. Good defense there by Cowley. Excellent defense, and it's... Taylor Harton has 14 points for the game so far. And I believe four... She got four three-pointers? Uh-huh. Four threes for Taylor Harton. One in every quarter of this game. That's consistency. Oh, Beeks, oh, nice move by Beeks. It was a good block that time by number four, Maddie Foster, but yeah. you see Beeks let it clear and then take it straight to the hole. Yeah, that was a great move. There's Callie Robinson. Oh, she throws it away into the hands of Davis. Gonna gonna be get, that's going to be it, too, for yeah. Abby Smith. 6.34 to go in the ball game, and that's going to be five on Smith. So Abby Smith back for her second game after an injury, a concussion. She's back. She's made some points tonight. Started tonight, Lance, and uh, played a very good game. Yeah, it was good to see her back in that starting position. Coach Froud's going to take the full minute he needs here. Yeah, he is. Do a little coaching. And now, let's see. Coming to the game is Taylor Doss for Abby Smith. 6.34 to go, 57-36. Kylie Davis at the line. First one on the way off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, it rolled around like it was going in. Second one on the way. This one also no good. So Davis has struggled tonight shooting for the Lady Lions. Yes, yeah, she only has three points for the game tonight. Lady Tigers, nice ball movement, just running off some clock. That was close. Davis does a nice job. Ball's going to stay in the Tigers' hand with six minutes to go in the game, 21-point lead.
Gives it to Beeks. Beeks makes her way in. And <laughs> They're going to give it to her. Uh, <laughs> I thought for a second he was going to call it on the floor, but he let it go in. I thought for a second he might call it travel, cause she, but she got hit. So <laughs> Number 12, Ella Duke with that foul. I just wanted to say her name. Ella Duke with Ella three Duke. fouls. Beeks completes the old-fashioned three, and it's 60-36, to 36, the largest lead of the game for the Lady Tigers. Unlike the other night against Berryville when they gave up the big lead, this time they've stretched it right back out. And a nice play inside as Matty Foster gets Timeout, grab it. We'll take it with them. 5.38 to go. Lady Tigers 60. Lady Lions 38. I wonder if Buck Lewis had any ideas to what he was starting when he sold his first Ford back in 1946. He was on the square in Fayetteville. Then Tom and Herb Lewis made the move to the current location on North College back in 1969. But through all those years, a Lewis has always been at the helm, and that tradition continues today. It's that kind of family value and heritage that makes Lewis Automotive the place to buy your next vehicle. Be it a Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, or Jeep, new or used, you can still find a Lewis standing behind every single deal. Award-winning service, six locations, and over a 1,000 vehicles. It's amazing. A lot has changed, but the Lewis heritage and tradition continues. Lewis Automotive, proudly serving Northwest Arkansas since 1946. Well, we're back, 5.38 to go. Lady Tigers up 60 to 38. Lady Lions put some full court pressure and Lady Tigers get past timeline. Beaks up, no good. Rebound gets her own, back up, and a chance again for a three-pointer. It was good getting, she got some great position there just so she could get that. That rebound back well, and yeah. put it right back up in. Yeah, she got her own rebound there, which was huge. Beeks with uh, with another free throw made, and it's 63-38. Yeah, she made that. So she's got 18, 20, two, 23 points tonight. 23 points. They're going to call a block that or yeah. a foul that time on Robinson. That's Callie's first foul. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good for Callie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Callie's usually got about three or four by now. That's she's right. Put, she's always playing inside, banging around, and this time <laughs> gets her first with 5.16 to go in the game, and it's shot on the way, no good. Rebound. By Ella Duke. And now it's three on one, and they get it back out. That's smart ball handling right there. Don't have to hurry and don't have to score. And another push on Ella Duke, and that's going to be her fourth foul, team's nine, so this will be a one and one. Beeks makes the first one, it's 64-38. What is Beeks from the free throw line tonight? She's made, I know she's missed two, but she's made a lot of them. 65-38. She's 13 for 14, it looks like. Oh, and a nice right. job by Davis. Foul on Beeks. 13 out of 14, it looks like. 13 out of 14. For Beeks tonight on the line. Sixty-five, thirty-eight, four forty-seven 47 to go. Kylie Davis from the line. Again, we thank our East Lab students, Kyle, Sam, Casey, Ethan, Horstein. Appreciate them all, all that they've done tonight. Makes one of two. 26-point lead for the Lady Tigers. Beeks. She's going baseline. Goes up, and it was blocked that time. Beeks went in there, I think, looking for the foul. Didn't get it that time. 
Pruitt playing with four fouls. She wants. She keeps raising that arm. No good. Boy, boxed out well that time by Lacey Beeks. She gets it down quick to Maddie Harton, and it's going to go in. Yeah, it is. And a chance for another three-point play. It's a 28-point lead. We're almost to the mercy rule here, Lance. Yeah. Another basket or two. And Ella Duke, that's going to be five on Ella Duke. We don't get to say Ella Duke anymore. No more Ella Duke tonight. Ella Duke goes off the court. <laughs> Boy, I like that name, Ella Duke. I do too. 29 point lead is at 68 to 39, 415 to go in the ball game. Chastity Hubbard in the game for the first time tonight. I believe Hubbard came in a little bit earlier tonight. Oh, did she? Yeah. That's Lacey's fourth. Lacey Beeks' his fourth foul. And Hubbard misses it. So if the Lady Tigers can go down and score this time, Lance, that will make the clock run for the final four minutes if they can get a two-point basket. Four minutes to go in the game, 68-40. There is Maddie Harton for three, short, no good. Beeks battling in for the rebound, doesn't get it. The Lady Lions bring it down. 68-40. Boy, Doss has got her arm on it. They're going to call it. That's going to be, I believe that's five on Taylor Doss tonight. So that's going to be it for Taylor Doss. And just like I didn't get a chance to say Ella Duke anymore, we won't have a chance <laughs> to say Taylor Doss. <laughs> that's two Tigers with five fouls tonight. Abby Smith out of the game. Taylor Doss now out of the game. And Ella Duke out of the game for, for Gravit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Macy Colchin has no fouls, so she's got five to give. 38 or 68-40, shot no good. Beeks with the rebound. Let's put it in this time, girls. Macy Colchin with the ball. She's picked up by Hubbard. Coach Frow takes the timeout instead of getting the five-second call. 3.07 to go in the game. Grab it, force that timeout. Hey, give a shout-out to our pet band tonight. I oh, did a fantastic job. Great job. It was a big crowd tonight during the boys' game. Of course, it was colors night, but it was a lot of action, and Tigers came up just a little short tonight in the boys' game. But I got it there. You have to admire them for being down 1.20. Yep. And then to actually have a chance in the last minute to pull something out. Coach Frow. <laughs> Hubbard with the foul. No time run off the clock, and there's a foul, and Harton with a chance. Got the first gets the first one. She get this one, and we got a we got running, clock. running clock. And I'll tell you, I don't know what happened over there, but whatever it was. It's got the clock running. Coach Elder, he's happy down there as a scorekeeper. He knows it's going to run. <laughs> he gets to push that button up. Yeah, look at him. He's smiling again. between that uh, <laughs> salt yeah, he pepper is. beard he has now that's mostly <laughs> salt. Well, that's going to do it. Now we see some of the reserves coming in for the Lady Tigers. Oh, big and foul. Beeks is going to, or uh, Macy Colton is going to go to the line. Ashley Cox is coming in. Ashley Hubbard came in. And Hannah Keelan's going to come in. 
Megan Reynolds is going to come in. And Emily Sapp's going to come in. Two shots here by Colchin. First one good, 71-40. Clock's running now. Colchin, Keelan, Cox, Sapp, and Taylor Harton in. Second one on the way, and other reserves coming in as Kim Reynolds comes in for Colchin. We've got Sam Lynn, Sarah Perrone, and trying to see, oh, 32, Haley Perry. And number, and number 10, Sam Lynn. Okay, now going to come into the game is Jessica Smith and Sydney Williams also going to come in. Coach Froud's going to call a timeout. He wants these girls to get a little playing time. He's going to take a full timeout. And with 118, he's going to get the rest of the girls in. And the Lady Tigers is going to move to Six and two in the conference. I don't know what the other action is tonight. We'll have to check it out some for next week. But next Tuesday night, the Tigers will be in action in Lincoln. I, we don't have it scheduled as a webcast. Um, if that changed, check the, check the website. But for now, it's not scheduled as a webcast. 72-40, 118 to go in the game. Taylor Harden to shoot the free throw. First one's good. So we have Sydney Williams in, Megan Reynolds, Emily Sapp, Hannah Keelan, and now Jessica Smith. So four sophomores and a junior on the court now for the Lady Tigers. And the Lady Tigers will get possession after the ball is thrown away. Looks like 21 points for Taylor Harton tonight. Harton with 21. Beeks had 24 or so, I believe. 26. 26. I was close. Jessica Smith with the ball down to 54 seconds. Sap. Gets it in to, there is Reynolds for three, no good. Rebound's gonna go to the Gravit Lady Lions. 35 seconds to go in the game. Fall there by Hannah Keelan. 15 seconds. Let's see if we can get one of these girls to get one shot off with 10 to go. Here comes Sap. Reynolds. The final score the Prairie Grove Lady Tigers 74. The Gravit Lady Lions 40. That's going to do it. Well, that does it for another night of Prairie Grove Tiger basketball. The first game, the boys came up a little short, 71-66 loss to Gravit. The girls win 74-40 in convincing fashion. Tigers go in action Tuesday night against Lincoln. I'm waiting here to get the stats for the Lady Tigers. Lacey Beeks led all scorers with 26, Macy Colton with eight. Callie Robinson with seven, Abby Smith with two, Taylor Harton with 21, 21 Maddie four. Harton with eight, all eight of those coming in the first quarter. Yeah. That's impressive. A very impressive performance tonight by the Lady Tigers. And for the Lady Lions tonight. Davis with four, Foster with two, Pruitt with 20, Hicks with eight, Chalk with five, Hubbard with one. Well, that's going to do it tonight. 
We want to thank again our East Lab students, Kyle, Sam, Casey, Ethan, and Horstein. We want to thank Gretchen Gretchen. Gretchen Gregson for our stats. <laughs> Can't even say my own last name. Lance Arguello. I'm Lynn Gregson. For everyone here at Prairie Grove High School, thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Our next webcast will be February 4th. We'll see you then.